All right, woohoo! <clears throat> Tutorial on creating a camera in Maya and looking through it. <clears throat> All right, right now we're actually in a camera. This of you right now, we're looking through a camera. It's right here. It's called Perspective, P E R S P. If we go up here in Panels, we have Perspective Cameras. You can create a new one here. You can look at the existing perspective one. We already are. And you have orthographic cameras front, side, top. Now to access those, we're in one view right now. We'd hit spacebar. And there you go. There's the top, there's the front, there's the side. If I want to go in top view, I can hit spacebar and maximize my top view. Hit the spacebar to go back out. Go back to perspective. Those are all cameras, the front, the side, the top, and perspective. Now we can go up in perspective if we want to make a new camera in here. And we can just go new. And we're automatically looking through it right now. It says perspective one. That's the camera that we're actually looking through right now. In fact, if we look around enough, well, maybe not. Anyway, open up the attribute editor here. Lagging, lagging. And reading this thing, new camera, I guess. I don't know. There you go, new camera. Never, there's our new camera down there so when I go up in the perspective window now I see new camera and perspective this is under the panel menu so there we have it and now that I'm in the perspective thing I can see my my other camera that's actually the new the one I labeled new camera I'll delete it and you can do it the old-fashioned way just go create cameras camera there it is creates it at the world origin and it's pretty useful you know if you don't want to like move it off that origin and you want to keep it like that you can name this camera um, final shot or something and that's it and cameras work like any other kind of piece of geometry with the respect that you can move them all over the scene you can rotate them, all kinds of nifty things like that, upside down. Um, you can name it like we did. Um, and also, if I want to look through that camera, I go up here, Panel, Look Through Selected. And here I am. I'm actually in the Final Shot camera. This is Final Shot right down here. And you also see it up in here in my cameras. So go back to Perspective, and there it is. Panel, look through selected, and there I am. I'm in that camera. I can get it where I want my final render to be. That's my final camera. There it is. I don't want to move it anymore, but I still want to work around my scene. I go to my perspective camera, and my render camera there is not going to move anymore. If I really don't want it going anywhere, <clears throat> and I want to make sure I don't like grab it and do this accidentally. Select it, open the attribute editor. Um, let's see here. Open that version of it there, the channels, and just select all of them. Scale, translate, rotates, all of that. Even the visibility if you wanted to, but right click on them, lock selected. Right there. And they turn gray. Now that bad boy. The bar's all grayed out, like it won't rotate, it won't move, whatever. And then you can just go in here and select all of those again. And if you want, unlock them. There we go. Actually, you can lock anything in the scene. Geometry that you don't want to move, whatever. Also, over here under my camera final shot, you'll see film aperture, focal length, f-stop, focus distance, shutter angle, center of interest, all those things you can play with if you know anything about a film camera. But that's basically how to... I'm going to go panel, look through selected, and there we go, my final shot. And this is basically how to um, create a camera and how to look through it. 